Hello and welcome to Stirt Wins. Today we're bringing you a Far Cry 3 video. Right, this one here video is about we're going to show you how to liberate a village like a boss. Right, this is how it should be done. I know how a lot of people do do it. They go in their gun ho and just blast the hell out of everything. But it shouldn't be done. So we're going to give you a few tips and a few hints on how to do it properly. First, get your binoculars out and um, you you mark everyone up. Put a mark on everyone. And it separates the snipers to just a normal footman to the heavies. The, so that one there, he's a, um, a sniper. All right? Okay. And also you'll realise that we're using the crossbow. This is a very underrated gun. This is brilliant. Well, I don't make the best start of this at the moment. The idea of it is not get noticed, don't get seen. So, we found as well that going in at daytime is not the best. Sometimes you want to go at night time. Because you can hide in the bushes and stuff like that. We're not saying some of these, these posts you do want to take out in daytime. And you just go in there gun hose. Some of them, they do... That's fine, that's not too bad. But as you progress further and further into the game, you're going to realise that it's not worth it. Alright, so we're going to take a couple of pop shots at this mate here. But what you will realise as well, on each camp they got alarms. Right, if you can't take things out stealth, then you need to take these alarms out. Because otherwise you're going to get reinforcements come. And before you know it, you've got everyone everyone on their way to come to see you so as you see i made a bit of a fuck up here right so that was attempt one that's how you don't do it right so let just let it load back up so that's you can go wrong pretty quick as you can see there So wait for it to load up, wait for it to load up. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but loading up takes forever. Right then, okay. So, binoculars out, scout everyone out. We've got a sniper up in that post there. A couple of foot soldiers. Now the animals as well, sometimes, it depends on what one you're taking out. Sometimes, just don't take the animal out straight away. Because they actually chew their own mateys up. So, don't do it at the beginning. Okay, so what we're going to do here, you're going to try and spot where these alarms are. You look in your little mini map button in the bottom left hand corner. Alright. Okay, so we just evaluate around, have a look around. And that's the best thing about, um. Oh god. I think, yeah, okay, let's, let's pause it for a sec. Come on, just ignore this bit. Probably this time here, I can tell you, please subscribe, like, I know oh, we're back. I'll tell you that bit in a minute. Right then, okay, so we're just going to scout around. We haven't been seen yet, so we've got a little bit of time. Right, but the action will start in a minute. Alright, so there's that geezer. Look, see, if you see closely, there's the alarm right there. You want to take that out. So this bow and arrow is good because they can't see a thing. It's silent. Right. You have to be pretty damn accurate with it as well. Alright. The best thing to do, if, 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 they, if you do think that they, they're on you a little bit, especially the snipers, they've got a big red dot. But just keep, just move around the back of the base. There you go, there's one taken out. Then we're going to progress around. Alright, we're going to try and take the sniper out. Because hit, when they hit you, they hurt when they hit you. Okay, so we still haven't been spotted. We've taken one alarm out and one sniper. Okay, so now next alarm. There you go. Right, that means no reinforcements. That means we've only got four bodies left in this place. So we can slowly get, get ourselves inside the, the area. I'll right, pick one of these off. Boom. Done. Alright, they, they haven't really noticed us. We missed one. I don't think that was a miss. That was a hit. Right, but also there's a, th a skill on this, if you go to your skill tree, right, there's a skill in there that you'll notice is very effective, right, 
This one here, this is a heavy, we call them a heavy. So you're going to do a heavy takedown, right? 500 XP just for a heavy beatdown. I thought that other matey was looking the other way, so I could have taken him as well. So we just quickly do him with a grenade. Stab him. Throw a knife at him. That is how you do a proper takedown. I'll do them a couple of times. Right, try not to be seen, try not to be seen. Right, they have seen us here. You see, I'm going to do a little shot. Because you want, at this point, when you can knife, you can do a proper takedown off a corner sort of thing. I realised he wasn't going to come towards me. So I had to go to him. Quickly run over their body, because then you're going to get more guns for your... There you go, take down, throw a knife at him. Done. That is how you properly liberate a village like a boss. Right. I hope you enjoyed that. Please comment, like, subscribe, share, do what you got to do. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to hear from you. Right.